hello student in this video i am going to start the fourth module that is about regressions and all other new topics that is listed in module 4 in your course plan so basically uh, when you talk about uh, linear regression um, we have discussed about scatter plots and correlations in in very uh, in one of the one or two videos uh, previously and scatter plots and correlations are very useful for indicating linear relationships among the variables and the strengths of these relationships but they do not actually quantify the relationships um, well, for example it is clear from the scatter plot of um, one example that, that has been discussed in this book that is from max drugstore data that sales are related to promotional expenditure but the scatter plot does not specify exactly what this relationship is if the expenditure index for a given region is 95 what would you predict this region sales index to be or if one region's expenditure index is five points higher than another how much larger would you predict the sales index uh, of the former to be to answer these questions the relationship between the dependent variable sales and the explanatory variable promote must be quantified so only the uh, scatter plots or coalitions only give the uh, relationship between the um, two variables but it doesn't quantify their uh, dependency in this section we answer these um, types of questions for simple linear regression where there is a single explanatory variable we do so by fitting a straight line through the scatter plot of the dependent variable y versus explanatory variable x so there is dependent variable is y dependent upon x x is the explanatory variable so whatever the plot we will get by plotting the values of x and y we will try to fit a straight line with the plots then basing the answer to the questions on the fitted straight lines but which straight line we address is, is the next so that is first how we can fit the line that is that line can be created using least square estimations the scatter plot between sales and promote here you can see in 10 10 12 that is this one scatter plot between sales and promote so uh, hence a linear relationship between these two variables it would not be difficult to draw straight lines through these points to produce reasonably good fit so here to draw a line between these points would not be a very difficult point so that is the point it is saying here it is not very difficult to draw a straight line to these points uh, in fact a possible linear fit is uh, but the relationship is not perfect not at all or perhaps not any of the points lie exactly on the line means not any points might be might uh, exactly or maximum points is not on the line that is what it is saying <coughs> The differences are the residuals. They show how much the observed values differ from the fitted values. If a particular residual is positive, the corresponding point is above the line is if it is negative, in the point is below the line. So if the residual is positive, then corresponding point is above the line. And if the residual is negative, then the point is below the line, below the straight line or below the fitting line. The only time is the residual is zero when the point is exactly on the line. The relationship between observed value, fitted value, and residual is very general and is stated in this equation. That is, observed value is equal to fitted value plus residuals. We can now also explain how to choose base fitting line through the points in scatter plot. That is, we can use the least square method. Uh, least square lines. So why do we use sum of squared residuals? Why not minimizing some other measures of the residuals? First, it is not appropriate to simply minimize the sum of the residuals. This is because the positive residuals would cancel the negative residuals. In fact, the least squares line has the property that sum of the residuals is always exactly zero. To adjust for this, we would we could minimize the sum of the absolute values of the residuals and this is a perfectly reasonable procedure however for technical and historical reasons it is not procedurally usually chosen the, to, the minimization of the sum squared residual is deeply rooted in the statistical tradition and it works well that is the point why we try to use the least square line 
we do not use simply plus minus or directly sum up the uh, negative values and positive values to find the fitting lines we try to use the least square methods so that we can find a uh, better fitting lines and which works with the statistics uh, and also we can minimize the sum of squared residuals and it works well so least square line is the line that minimizes sum of squared residuals so it is a minimization problem and it minimizes the sum of squared residuals residuals it is the line quoted in the regression output so the minimization problem itself is a calculus problem and, and it is not discussed here but virtually all statistical software packages perform this minimization automatically so you do not need to be concerned with the technical details however we do provide the formulas for least square lines that is uh, we need to understand that how that equation can be generated so first you need to understand the uh, from the basic algebra that equation for any line can be written as y equal a plus bx a is the uh, a is the uh, intersection point intercept the line and b is the slope of the line uh, the change in y x increase by one unit so we try to change the value of y and x by one unit therefore the least square line is specified completely by its slope and intercept so everything will depend upon the slope and intercepts but we will increase the x and y only one unit that is why equation for slope in simple linear regression will be like this b equal to uh, summation of x i minus x mean y i minus y mean thereby x minus x mean whole square the summation that is rxy or you can rxy into sy into sy divided by x sx because one of this part will be divided by one uh, will be removed by this one so equation for intercept in the simple linear regression is a equal to y mean minus a b x mean so we could, we have written these formulas primarily for conceptual purpose not for hand calculation the software takes care of this calculation but you can go through these equations to find out the b and c because b and a b is the uh, intercept slope and a is the intercept and the values of x or the fitting line depends upon this b and a directly because when y and x value will be incremented by one unit at every interval so we can found the value of b and a by using these equations so uh, that is the way to calculate the uh, line but uh, if using different software we don't need to go for that part uh, but you need to understand this for better concepts so um, for the formula 1 we write for B, you can see that this closely related the correlation between X and Y. So in this equation, we can understand if they are more correlated, then the value will be more closer to uh, the line. Especially if the standard deviation SX and SY, that is SX and SY of X and Y are keep constant. The slope of B of the least squares lines varies directly with the correlation between two variables, that is RXY. The effect of the formula of A is not quite as interesting so but here effect of a is not that quite interesting it simply forces the least squares lines to go through the point of sample means x bar y bar so that is point that is the main point why we need to go for least square uh, uh, least square method to find the base fitting line uh, a fitted value we need to find the fitted value so here consider magnified graph in figure 10.13 here so here several points in the scatter plot are shown along in with a line drawn through them note that the vertical distance from the horizontal axis to any point which is just the value of sales for that point here you can see uh, that what it is saying that vertical distance from horizontal axis to any point vertical distance horizontal axis to any point is the sale value uh, for that point can be um, can decompose in two parts vertical distance from the horizontal axis to the line and the vertical distance from the line to the point two part that is one part is uh, here one part is um, decomposing two parts that is one part is vertical distance from the horizontal axis to the line and the vertical distance from the line to the point the first of this called fitted value so first fitted value is means suppose the distance between this to this this is fitted value 
and distance between these two any other points that is residual value the idea is very simple by using a straight line to reflect the relationship between sales and promote you expect a given sales to be at the height of the line above any particular value of promote that is you expect sales to equal the fitted value so that is the understanding point if you are expecting that sales to be equal to the fitted value a fitted value is the predicted uh, value uh, or predicted value of the dependent variable so graphically it is the height of the line above a given explanatory value the corresponding residual is the difference between actual and the fitted values of the dependent variables so here you can see in this uh, magnified graph um, suppose this is a points with positive residuals and this is the points with negative residuals uh, this is residual negativity and this is the observed value for this point but this is the fitted value to till this point and proposed straight line is this one so that is the amount of residual and that is the amount of fitted value but actual observed value is this so fitted value is equal to residual plus observed value so we can go through an example or you can go through it is a example that find the least square lines for pharmax drugs for using sales at, as the dependent variable and promote as the explanatory variable so using the data data of the pharmax example you can find this in, in the book in the question the data and you can find the plot by using the least square technique So this is just an overview of regression. Uh, this is linear, simple linear regression. Uh, I'll try to give more hint or more discussion about linear regression in next upcoming videos. Try, I'll try to go for more knowledge about regression through so different examples. So, but try to go through this example. Try to give it, give it thought about this, and try to at least go through the context of this book. If you find any difficulty, please let me know. We'll try to discuss over Google Meet. And again, uh, I'll try to come up with good, uh, more good material through different slides mm, in the next video. Till then, thank you.